I'm just getting ready for a small little two-day road trip here, and I thought I'd show what I put into my bags. Um, so for my main bag, I use this GORUCK uh, GR1 bag that's been awesome. I've had this all over the world, and it uh, hasn't really taken any damage at all. It's pretty durable. It's fairly waterproof, and it can hold a surprising amount of stuff. Um, so the first thing that... Uh, I put in the back pouch here is a rain cover for the bag. It's off one of my Think Tank photography bags. Um, a little bandana. It's a multi-use kind of thing that I always just keep in there for some padding. And then a bag lock. That's all that goes in there. Um, in the back here, there's this little pouch that... Um, you know, I keep these lightweight, sort of clear Ziploc bags in, in case I ever need them to, <clears throat> if I get caught in a downpour, I need to waterproof some stuff. So in there, I'm just going to put some Instax film, because I'm going to be using my Instax printer on this trip. Um, so, some more. Just jam down in here. It's a great little pocket if you're bringing an iPad or something like that. And then Instax printer, it's going to go in there as well. And last thing is going to be my Kindle. Then, uh, put my boots. I won't be wearing those in the car, so we're going to go there. Um, and then I have this little. This is my coffee kit, which just has a cup and my AeroPress and grinder which is preloaded with coffee. Kind of particular about my coffee and I always like to make sure that I have good stuff wherever I'm going. So that just all goes in there. This is up. This is kind of like a not needed thing but where I have lots of room in my bag. It's not an issue for this trip, so that goes there. Keeps my boots in place. We have a little uh, bag of toiletries. I use one of these waterproof bags, um, sort of dual purpose. So if I'm, again, if I'm going out and it might be rainy or whatever, I can just unload my toiletries and I have this bag to put in my my day bag. So I like everything to sort of have two purposes in my bag, um, even this. This uh, bag that my copy kit is in, I can take the copy stuff out when I get to the hotel or wherever I'm staying. And then I've got this to put in my day bag for whatever. Um, the top flap here, I've got just like headphones and iPhone charge cable. That's the top. But this little guy is one of the best little travel accessories that I've ever picked up. The two USB chargers and three plugs, great for airports. So it's gonna go in there. Um, little notebook and a pen for ideas and anything like that. Small little flashlight. Probably won't need it on this trip, but it's small enough. I'll just keep that in the bag. And that's. And then I'll put my clothes on top. I uh, have some room in the boots to put some, some clothes and some socks and things like that. Um, but as you can see, there's still lots of room in here for, for clothes and other things. For two three days, I can easily get away with that. So that's my main bag. For my day bag, I have this little leather messenger bag from um, aunts and uncles. It's a great little bag. Um, really simple, really small. Prevents me from overpacking it. But, um, so first thing I'll do here is I have this little sealer waterproof case thing for my iPhone, which I'm using to film this video. Um, it takes up like no space. I always keep this on the bag that I'm carrying with me in case you know I ever get caught in a downpour. I know my phone's not going to get wet, so that's it for that. 
inside it's pretty basic. I've got my Fuji X-T1. It's the main camera with the 23mm 1.4 lens. So it just goes in there. I'm only bringing one other lens. Uh, so I've got just this little Optech lens case with the with the 35 mil 1.4 in there. So that goes in there. And some extra batteries. Let's go in here, get zipped up. And the last thing is this little peak design clip, which if I'm out and I have my backpack, um, I can just clip this on the shoulder strap and it allows me to quickly get my camera on and off my bag if I want to instead of carrying it around my neck the whole time. And that goes in there. The other things that would go in this bag that aren't shown are the little, I've got a little gorilla pod and tripod holder for my iPhone, which I'm using right now to film this video, but that would go in here as well. As you can see, I've got lots of room and it's a super lightweight bag. So that's it.